picrustable solution. What is the vertex of the graph of the equation y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2? Do you like the background? Do you like the background? I got it from www.pptback.com, and so can you. There are actually two ways we can find the answer to this question. The first is by doing completing the square, and the second is when we use x equals negative b over 2a and then substitute it back to find y. So I'm going to show you both. So let's first start with completing the square. So when we do completing the square, what we're really trying to do is solve so that we have y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h, k is my vertex. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is write the equation y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. We need to subtract 2 from both sides. So y minus 2 equals x squared minus 3x. And this is where we start completing the square. So I'm going to make a parentheses and a squared. What we're going to do is we're going to take half of this number. So we're going to have x minus 3 halves. And to fill in this number, we square this one. So what I'm doing is actually taking negative 3 halves squared, which is 9 fourths. So we're going to add 9 fourths here. But if we add 9 fourths here, we have to do it to the other side also. So let's see what we have. We'll have uh, 9 fourths minus 2 plus y equals x minus 3 halves squared. We'll need a common denominator here, which is 4. So we're going to have 9 fourths minus 8 over 4 plus y equals x minus 3 halves squared. 9 minus 8 is 1, so we'll have 1 fourth plus y equals x minus 3 halves squared. So we're almost to our equation, but we need to get y by itself. So I need to subtract 1 fourth from both sides. And I'm going to write it up here. So we'll end up with y equals x minus 3 halves squared minus 1 fourth. So it turns out that our vertex is going to be 3 halves, a positive 3 halves because it's the opposite, and negative 1 fourth. Great. So let's look at the next way we can do it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use x equals negative b over 2a. And to do that, we need to make sure that y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We need to make sure that our equation is in that form, and it is. So let's go ahead and substitute. So x equals negative b over 2a. So x equals negative b. Well, it's negative 3, so we'll have negative 3 over 2 times, of course we have a 1 here, 2 times 1 which is 3 over 2. Well, that's great because that's what we got in the last one, so we're doing pretty good. Now we need to find the y value. So let me write the equation again. y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now I'm going to substitute 3 halves in for all of my x's. So we'll have y equals 3 halves squared minus 3 times 3 halves plus 2. And we just need to start simplifying here. So 3 halves squared is 9 fourths minus, remember this is over 1, so it's going to be minus 9 over 2 plus 2. We need a common denominator, and that's going to be our 4. So we don't have to do anything with this one, but we're going to have to multiply by 2. Okay, so we have my, minus 18 over 4. And now this one we need to multiply by 4 over 4. So we're going to have 8 over 4. Let's keep going. We're almost done. 9 minus 8 is negative 9 over 4 plus 8 over 4. Negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1 over 4. And it turns out that that is my y value. So the vertex for this graph is 3 halves negative 1 fourth. Thank you. 
And did you like how I solved this one? Check out my Fiverr account from the link below and I can solve one for you too. Also, if you really like this background, check it out.